so welcome to uh, performance session demo and thanks for joining uh, this class so in today's class we'll discuss about the agenda first so what exactly things i will going to explain in today's class uh, as part of this demo class and what exactly uh, the topics we will be discuss uh, in this one hour of the duration so that you will come to know like what exactly we are doing as part of this performance testing in the software field and why we need to do that particular performance testing and what kind of different testings are available in the market and what is our tool which we are going to discuss and how we, how exactly that architecture of the tool and what are the components is available in the tool and also how will we use the particular tool uh, as part of this performance testing effort so i will open the tool and i will show you how exactly we need to utilize that particular tool okay and also at the end i will discuss like what and all the things i will cover as part of this course in the 45 45 days of the duration what and all the things i will cover as part of this course and at the end we'll take the questions so if you have any questions if you have any doubts so you can bring it up and we can discuss on that so that other people also will be getting clarified with your questions okay so first of all we'll come to the software field hope some of people are already working in the real time and some of them are uh, don't have the, any experience but i will consider like everyone doesn't have the experience so if you are coming as a so without experience so i want to tell you i want to teach you the co course i want to teach you about this performance testing so what exactly uh, we are doing in the real time environment so real time environment is nothing but in the software field once you got the job how exactly you need to uh test this particular performance testing how we exactly follow this performance testing process okay so first of all so before going to discuss <coughs> anything about the performance testing so first we'll discuss about the what is the testing so in the market so in the any company what exactly the people are testing so why we need to do the particular test okay so first we'll discuss about the testing concept so the testing concept is nothing but so anywhere so if you take any kind of example so you are going to buy a product in the market so you are going to buy a laptop shop or you are going to buy any kind of supermarket so you are going to buy a, any kind of item so how will you come to know like whether that particular product is working properly as per your expectation or not so if you want to con conclude that whether that particular product is working properly or not then you need to do a testing right you need to test that product then only you could able to buy that product so if you satisfied with that product then only you will decide to buy that product so if you go for the any laptop shop or any supermarket so you want to buy a some product so how exactly will do so let's consume let's uh, consider like uh, we are going to buy a mobile so what exactly will do first we'll ask the mobile the particular person and we'll ask about like what is the specifications of this product so how how is the camera uh, capability how is the battery capacity how much time it will come and how is the internal memory how much memory size it is ha having so and what is the ram size how fast it can be respond so all the aspect will test right so once we enquire about all the things then only we'll decide whether to buy that particular product or not we'll compare multiple products and we'll test the uh, we'll test the specifications and which is having the better specifications and better speed and better memory so such kind of product will decide to go and buy so such kind of process we call it as a testing so whatever the product we want to buy and we want to first we want to know about the product and we want to test that product and later only we will buy the product right so it's a common example so everyone will do the same thing so let's come to the real time situation so real time application situation so i have in my company my project team has developed a one application so that is called a banking application the developer has developed completely and it is ready to go to the live so once that developer has developed and before going to before the product is going to live so there will be the testing get involved so what exactly this testing people will do is so whether the developer has developed that application as per the customer requirements or not for example the customer wants a functionality called fund transfer functionality okay and account summer functionality okay so what the testers will do is they will test whether the account summary is properly working or not as per the customer requirement the account summary button is properly working or not when the customer has done some fund transfer 
uh, whether it is properly working or not okay such kind of testing the tester will do and he will test that application if there is any kind of if there is any kind of deviations is uh, they are seeing so such kind of situation so he has to okay he has to report that issue so he has to report that issue to the developer and fix that particular issues whatever the issues he has identified as part of the testing so he has to report that issue to the developer and he, he will be raising a defect and the developer has to fix the defect before it is going to production okay so this is how the testing will be done so any kind of thing any kind of to know that application to know the application behavior and how exactly this particular application is working so definitely the testing has to be performed okay so this is what the testing why exactly we need to do the testing if i if any kind of application was not done the testing what will happen so obviously the requirements will not be matched there will be some futures will be getting missed and once if without testing if that application is going to the production when the end users when the customers are accessing that application what will happen he will not see the functionality and obviously if such kind of feasibility is not available for the customer and obviously he will look for the another kind of application for example let's take a very basic bank uh, any kind of local banks so we can we can call it as something like a Canada bank or something so and also hdfc bank is there so it's consider like so hdfc bank has the better functions better features in the online everything can be done in the online but if you consider the another a uh, small bank and we can't able to do everything we, there is no functionalities available such kind of functionality so we need to visit the branch and we have to go to the branch and we have to uh, do the process manually so in such kind of situations is happen in the uh, in the production so in the market obviously the people will prefer to go for the hdfc because nowadays everything is online right so obviously which is providing the better service which bank is providing a better service so obviously the customers will choose that particular bank okay so if you are not doing proper testing and if you are not developing complete functionality and if you are not providing a proper service to the customer and obviously the persons the the enterprise will be losing the business okay so such kind of to avoid such kind of business or to avoid such kind of uh, losing the reputation so we have to do the testing properly and before the particular application is going to the production in the same way even some let's assume like a a, a person has developed a, a company has developed a mobile okay so once they develop the mobile and without doing a proper testing and they release the product to the customers what will happen some of the customer will buy the product and later they will face the issues whenever they face the issues then they will raise the complaints and they will reach out to the proper persons like to the company and they will raise the issues or they will raise the concerns they will raise the tickets and uh, so they will say like this phone is doesn't have that capability i don't want this phone and i want to repeat this phone and get it replaced with by the another phone so such kind of complaints will come right so if the application if the product was not tested properly and you you will face you will face such kind of issues from the customers so to avoid such kind of situations and we will be consider we will be do the testing for any kind of application in the real time uh, market okay so any kind of application was developed and before that go into the production the testing has to be done once the testing will be done they give the go ahead then only the application will go to the production so this is how in the real time the testing will be getting involved okay so out of this testing i was telling like something called performance testing and you may you might have heard about the different different testings also so we'll come to that point now so in the market we will be having the different testings are available so mainly functional testing okay and non functional testing okay so these are the two types of uh, testings are available in the market so how exactly this testing will be there so when it comes to the functional testing so in the functional testing the people will be consider for the functionality of that application so when i say functionality of that application means 
what exactly the functionality of that application so let's take like any of the application okay so i will tell with the different examples also so any of that application we consider so that that has developed recently so when the functional testing will comes and when the non functional testing will comes we'll tell you so whenever that application was developed and immediately the functional testing will be getting involved so they will be testing about the functionality of that application so when i say functionality of that application which is nothing but okay so functional testing and so what exactly things they will be consider okay so in the functional testing if the application was developed recently so for example it is a banking application or let's say like, like a amazon application amazon flipkart application e-commerce application so whenever the customer comes to that application he was searching for a product so i want to search a product with the mobile so will the mobile all the mobiles are getting displayed or not so that is the one kind of functionality when i click on a particular product and it has to be open the details about that particular product and it has to be show the images and it has to be show the specifications and it has to be show that at what time it will be getting delivered whether that particular product is available for my location or not so such kind of details it has to be show okay so all these things will be called it as a functionality so if you take a banking application if i click on that accounts and all my accounts has to be displayed so that is the one functionality and if i click on the account summary and my balance has to be displayed so that is the one functionality and if i click on the fund transfer and it has to be asked for the from my account and to account once we click on the make a transfer and the funds has to be deducted from our account and it has to be credited to the end user okay so such kind of things we call it as a functionality of that application okay so usually the functional testing team will be doing about all this kind of functional uh, functionality testing okay so when it comes to the non functionality so we'll also discuss about the non functional level. so our performance testing will usually comes under non functional testing okay so when it comes to the performance uh, functional testing what and all the things will be there so they will do the functional test the functionality of that application okay so here we have something called manual testing automation testing something called unit testing so there are different types of testing is available in the market so all this will comes under the um, particular functional testing okay so i will tell you what exactly with the real time example also i will tell you what exactly will do with the functional testing and non functional testing so first i am explaining so here we'll test the non functional things so apart from the functional things what are the things are available okay so non functionality of that application will test so when i say the non functionality of that application so i will explain you what exactly it is so here we have something called performance testing and uh, accessibility testing so it is for the kind of blind people and deaf people so they will be using the accessibility testing also so our applications so in us based application they will be considered for the uh, handicapped people also so accessibility testing will be done um, in terms of uh, their accessibility and security testing so these are the different types of testings are available in the market okay so functional testing means so these are the different type manual testing automation testing unit testing selenium with the help of selenium or qft U, uh, qtp uft so there are different tools are available in the market so when it comes to the non functional testing so we will be testing about the non functionality of that application so when i say non functionality of that application so let's con uh, let's consider like performance so one of performance is the one of the non functional testing okay so in this performance testing what exactly we will be measure is how the application performance so when i say the application performance when the application is accessible by the multiple users and how exactly it is responding how fast it is responding and how was the cpu utilizations how was the memory utilizations so these are not comes under the functionality of that application it will be comes under the 
non functionality of that application so if you consider like accessibility testing will my blind people will be able to access that application or not based on that voice uh, will they able to access that application or not security testing is nothing but how secure your application will your application is giving any kind of your credentials to the browser level so such kind of testing will be done so here now we'll come to the actual point for example we'll take a two products we'll take any of the two products and we'll do the testing so if it is for the functional testing how exactly it will be considered okay and if it is the same product so i'm going to test a product which is called car okay so a functional testing what and all the things will be considered for the car and a non functional testing let's assume like a performance tester what and all the things will be considered for the uh, testing for non functional testing okay so a, fu a functional testing is going to pro uh, test a car a non functional testing is a uh, tester is going to test a car so i want to just tell you like how exactly in the real time situation so that you will be clearly understand what exactly the functional testing and what exactly the non functional testing okay so uh, in the functional testing way so what how exactly the functional tester will do the testing for a car so the functionality of the car what is the functionality of the car when we switch on the car the car has to be automatically started so if there is some start button or something is there and when we switch on the car will the car is starting or not okay so that is the one of the functionality of the car right so switch on button is properly working or not when we switch on the lights okay the lights are getting uh, switched on or not okay so when he is moving the car for example he he apply a gear and the car is moving properly or not when he applies the gear and the car is moving properly or not so all these kind of things will be call it as a functionality so for example so how many persons for example my requirement is to seat like five persons in the car like five persons in the car so will my car uh, will be able to design in a proper way like uh, the number of persons will be carry five persons or not okay so such kind of things will be call it as a functionality of the car we are testing the functionality of the car so it's like let's when we are switching on the start button and the car is uh, getting on or not and when we switch on the lights the lights are getting switched on or not so when we are applying the gear the car is moving or not so such kind of things will be considered for the functionality of the car so when it comes to the non functional testing if the same car is going to test okay so what and all things will be considered is in the non functional way so how was the pickup okay so how was the pickup of that car so how fast the car performance is so if i want to reach the maximum speed and within how many seconds i could able to uh, reach that particular speed so which is called a uh, pickup right so how how fast that uh, the car is moving and how fast that is uh, reaching to the maximum speed okay and also the mileage so mileage of the car it is also one of the non functionality so uh, in terms of the performance if i want to say this car performance is very good and what and all the things will be considered so one is the mileage and for per liter how many kilometers it is giving and one is the pickup and how fast that our car is getting reached to the maximum speed and what is the complete load what is the full load so for example i am going with a five persons five persons in the car and during that load situation okay during the stress so that is the max capacity of the car right so when the five persons are get uh, seated in the car and how exactly the performance of that car and uh, under the under the load and how much mileage it is giving and how fast it is getting moved so such kind of things will be considered for the non functional testing in the same way in the same way if you consider kind of any kind of application okay so i will be consider like a um, let's consider the functional testing for the application and non functional testing for the application so these two things will be applied here and we'll see how exactly the things will be considered so the same way if you can also take the mobile so car uh, mobile example also so we are going to test a mobile as a functional tester is going as a performance tester is going okay so as a functional tester what exactly things he will consider is so he will switch on the mobile when you click on the switch on button whether the mobile is getting on or not, on or not. and when you click on the gallery button the all the photos are getting displayed or not 
when you click on the call making a call button the call is going to the other persons or not so such kind of things will be called it as a functional testing for the mobile and when it comes to the non-functional testing for the mobile so when we switch on that particular car particular mobile how much time it is taking to switching on and when he applies something like when he trying to use the multiple applications on the same mobile and how was the app mobile responding how fast it is getting respond okay for example if the person is going to play kind of a, a pubg kind of applications in the mobile okay it is a very high application right so it requires a lot of resources and it will take a lot of uh, uh, memory from your mobile so will your application is getting will your mobile is getting supported to such kind of applications or not so all these things will be concerned for the non functional testing so how was the mobile performance when i am using the multiple applications how it is responding is the mobile is getting heat or not it is getting hang or not so such kind of things will be concerned for the non functional testing okay so let's come to the point what exactly the performance testing in the definition wise okay so i have explained you right till now what exactly the things will be concerned for the performance testing so it is a non functional testing when i say the non functional testing means so what and all the things will be considered how was the application speed and how much speed how fast that application is getting respond and how fast the particular mobile is getting respond and how fast the car is getting reaching to the maximum speed so one one major uh, consideration for the performance testing is the speed so application also it should be respond very fastly for example if it, if you have developed a application for example let's uh, consider a real time examples so amazon has the application and flipkart has the application okay so let's uh, consider like so it is not the real time situation but for example i am taking for your understanding so amazon is the one application and flipkart is the application amazon is providing a service well to the customers so it is responding very fast so if they want to buy any kind of product it is happening in a seconds but whereas the flipkart also one of the competitor and flipkart is responding very slowly let's consider like the flipkart is responding very slowly okay so what will happen here in, in such kind of situation so if one of that application is responding very fastly and the another application is responding very slowly so which application we will prefer so obviously we'll go ahead and prefer for that um, uh, for the better responding application right so obviously the customers will go and use the better response whichever the application is giving the better response and they will go ahead and use that particular application so obviously the particular uh, application will gain the business and will gain the customer and will gain the reputation if your application is not responding fastly obviously we will not go ahead and prefer such kind of application so definitely one time we will use and if we we'll face the any difficulties and i will go ahead and i will go for that alternative for example if swiggy and zomato is there if the swiggy is providing a better service than zomato and obviously i will go ahead and prefer to the swiggy right so such kind of uh, business also will be lost so whoever is providing a better performance better service to the customers so obviously they will prefer to go for the such kind of application so okay in the real time also if you take if you, any of the person has developed any kind of application and obviously they has to provide their application has to be respond very fastly and without facing any difficulty to, difficulties to the customer so if your application is not responding fastly and obviously you will slowly lose your business and obviously whoever is providing the proper uh, service to the customer and obviously they will gain the business and they will uh, make their reputation in the market and they will get they will gain the more income from that particular application so that is the purpose we need to do the performance testing also because our application will works fine with the single users so once i develop that application my application will works fine with the single users but once we release this particular application to the product production so what will happen the customers will come and start using that application so at a time multiple users will come for example 100 users will come to that application and will start eating on that application what will happen your application was working fine when you do uh, when you do a functional testing and your application was working fine and later you release the product without performance testing you release the product to the customers so in the market what will happen multiple users out of uh, lakhs of persons will come thousands of the persons will come and access your application 
so slowly what will happen when the multiple users are coming and accessing your application so there will be some issues will arise okay so any kind of application will works fine with the single users so that's not a problem but when we are applying multiple users on that application so in such kind of situation you will see the slowness of that application okay for example if you consider um, something like the result site so for example ssa results was released in manabadi.com some sites will be there so whenever they release some for example jn2 application also is there or usmania application so they want to see the results of the particular year so whenever they release that uh, results what will happen the applications when i click on the view results when i enter the hall ticket number and when i click on the view results it will take 5 minutes sometime 5 minutes to load your results why it is taking that much time is there are multiple users at a time they are trying to access that application and they are trying to get the results so obviously the application will become very slow and sometimes it will throw like timeout exceptions some uh, server is not available such kind of issues will be coming right so you might have seen in the during the results uh, release so you, you will face such kind of issues so that will be considered for the performance testing so we'll create such kind of situation on the application and we'll test that application okay so before they are going to release that re uh, results so prior to that only we'll test that application with that many number of users okay for example i am uh, uh, ssa results is going to results, uh, release today so they will know right how many number of uh, number of uh, uh, students are attempted for this particular uh, year so based on that the same number of count i will apply before i release the results and i will test that application and will such kind of application is responding well or not when I, when that many number of users are getting applied to that application if it is responding well and will give a go ahead and if it is not responding well and we have to provide this application is not responding when this many number of users are accessing so there is some issue with this application you need to fix this application before you are going to release this application to the market so such kind of report we will be do as part of the performance testing so the best example is the result site so if you consider like jn2 results or usmania results or ssc results so definitely there will be uh, you might have seen that very slowness of that application so to avoid such kind of slowness we will be doing a performance testing okay so what exactly we will do as part of this performance testing we will apply the 100 users of the load on that application or 1000 users of the load on that application and we will test how exactly the application is responding how speed that application is responding okay so that is our main motto so the performance testing is to know the application speed availability and scalability under the various loads okay you can take here under the various loads we'll test that application in terms of speed availability and scalability so for example here i will apply a thousand number of users and i will test the speed how fast each page is getting response okay and when i apply the thousand users the load and if i apply for the one hour two hour or five hours and will that application is available or not okay so when i apply the various loads when i apply a thousand users or when i apply uh, 2000 users will that application is scalable or not so such kind of things will be monitored as part of this performance testing so in the software in the definition wise if i want to tell so performance testing is a process it's a one of the non-functional testing process in the software to know the behavior under the various loads of the under the various to know the application behavior under the various loads in terms of speed availability and scalability okay the perform the goal of the performance testing is to identify the bottlenecks bottlenecks is nothing but the performance issues any kind of performance issues we are facing when we apply a multiple number of users on that application so that is the point we need to do the performance testing okay so whenever whenever you say performance testing so how exactly that application performance so it's the same way like what we have seen in the car and mobile example right the same kind of example will be applied to your mobile also your application also so such kind of performance will be tested as part of this uh, testing so what i will do is how exactly the performance when i say the performance so i will open a application and i will show you what exactly the things will be considered so how exactly we need to test and i will show you 
so this is my application okay so when i click on this particular url and how fast this application is getting responded okay so for example here i enter something like jojo and username and password i click on the login button when i click on the login button how much time it is taking to load this particular page and when i click on the flights button how much time it is taking to load the page when i click on the home button how much time it is taking to load the page okay so same kind of uh, testing will do with the multiple users so thousand users will come and hit this flights button and they will verify how exactly this particular application is getting responded they so multiple users will come and click on the home button and they will test how exactly this page is getting responded how much time it is taking to respond when i click on a proper link so that is what will be testing as part of this performance testing so do you have any questions on the performance testing what exactly we need to do so yeah as i said like we will be testing that application like uh, speed scalability stability and availability so when i say the speed and how quickly the page is getting responded how quickly the application application respond how quickly okay so that that is nothing but a speed and scalability means so will the application handle the expected user load and be hand beyond so if i go the beyond the normal load and how exactly that application scale, scalable okay if i slowly increase in the load for example 1000 users i am running and next time i am going to run with the 1500 users will my application is scalable to 1500 users or not okay so stability so when i apply a proper load okay when i apply a proper load throughout that load will my application stable or not or any kind of issues was coming or not so i want to tell you one more example here so for example uh so amazon is going to release a big billion day so what exactly will things will be happen that time so when there are more offers are getting released to the product so definitely on that day the more number of users will come and access right so if your application was not well configured and not tested properly so such kind of situation okay you will see your server will be getting crashed and sometimes the application will not be available so such kind of things will be happen so in the recent in the past i think four years or five years back flipkart has very initially introduced a big billion day so such kind uh, on the day what will happen once they have opened the offers and within the five minutes their servers went uh, down and the application is not accessible to the customers so such kind of situation what will happen they will lose their reputation because the users are spending the time but your application is not responding fastly so obviously what will happen so you will lose the lose the reputation and you will lose the business so you will lose the so market uh, the number of customers you will lose and obviously you will lose the reputation and obviously you will lose the uh, your uh, amount the uh, gaining amount obviously you will lose you will get a loss from the business so that is the purpose so we definitely need any kind of real time application so they will be doing a performance testing and identifying how exactly that particular application performance in the real time market okay so i am telling all the things like performance testing and we need to we need to measure the response time we need to measure the speed of that application and all the things i am telling right and how will i monitor how will i measure the particular application response okay so there should be something right so i am telling like 100 users i will be apply and 1000 users i will be apply so how, how will i apply the 100 users so do i need to call the 100 percent and come come here and access your laptops and try to hit this application and open your uh, stopwatch and measure the response time so is that possible so if i want to apply the 100 users then i want to hire 100 persons and i want to buy 100 laptops and 100 devices to hit that particular application no so it is not the way so that is the reason we have some kind of tools is available in the market to apply this many number of users we have some different tools is available in the market so you no need of call the 100 persons or you no need of call the 1000 persons to hit your application so there is a performance testing tools is available in the market so with the help of those tools we can able to apply that many number of users okay so these are the different tools is available in the market okay so the mainly load runner 
So low runner is the one of the major tool in the market in the performance testing area. So which is almost acquiring the market like 70% to 80% of the market. The most of the applications. So most of the customers will be using this low runner tool to test their application performance. Okay. So as part of this course, we are also going to cover this complete load runner end to end course. Okay. And also we have in the market that different tools is available. So those are like JMeter. It is a open Java based open source tool. So whenever you have installed the JDK, this tool by default will be available. And so NeoLoad also is one of the tool and VSTS RPT. So there are a different number of tools is available in the market. Okay. So load runner is a which is dealing by H, uh, micro focus previously it was developed by the HP people. So he, the HP was introduced to this load runner and recently micro micro focus was acquired. They bought this particular load runner tool. Now micro focus is uh, having this tool and they will be maintaining this tool and it is a licensed tool and we need to buy the license. We need to purchase this tool. So then only we could able to uh, use complete these features. Okay, so so based on the number of virtual users, we need to pay some amount. So based on the packages and we need to uh, consider that particular protocol bundle and there will be some factors will be available. So based on that they need to get the license and then only they could able to completely use this tool. Okay, so it's it's not a freeware and it is a, a licensed base and we need to purchase this tool to access this one and whereas the JMeter is a open source tool and so neo load VSTS. So there are different different tools is available in the market, but majorly the low runner tool is getting used in the market majorly because it has the it will be support for the more number of application any kind of applications the load runner almost it will be support. So it is like a remote desktop or desktop application Citrix application SAP application or web based application whatever the application it has the capability to support such kind of application. It has a lot of features is available inside this tool. So that is the purpose. The micro focus is leading the performance area. So almost like 70 to 80 percent of the market is uh, with the load runner tool only. Okay. So as I already explained, what exactly functional testing and what exactly non-functional testing? So functional testing, so testing the application, testing the functionality of that application, the application business process is implemented properly or not. So as I said, like. So if you take a, this, this application only if I am I am a functional tester. So when I click on the flash button. So the departure city drop down is getting display or not the departure date and round trip when he click on the continue button and it is going to the fine flight page or not whether the flights are properly getting displayed here or not. So this kind of functionality the core functionality they will test it. So as a functional testing. So they will be testing the functionality of that application. Whether the business flow, whatever the business flow they have provided, it is properly implemented or not. So that is what consider for the functional testing. And when it comes to the non-functional testing, so as I already told, when I click on the flights button, how much time it took to respond this complete page? And when I click on the itinerary button, how how much time it has taken to respond the page? Okay. So the functionality, the complete business flow will test and will book a ticket and will measure the each page response time and will understand the what exactly the performance of that particular application. So that is what will be done as part of the performance testing as part of the functional testing. Okay, so it can be done only with the automation tools like load runner JMeter neo load etc. But whereas the functional testing will be done with the QTP selenium. So such kind of tools is available in the market. So with the help of those tools only will be uh, useful. So let's come to the load runner tool. How exactly the load runner tool is available and what are the different components is available for us. So we'll discuss those component and uh, we'll, we'll open the tool and we'll give you a like like a flavor of that uh, tool like how exactly it will, it will be recording. It will be generating the script and it will be getting the results to us. Okay, so this is what the load runner tool components. So here so majorly the five components will be available for us. So one is the virtual user generator. So view gen we can also call it as a view gen. So this virtual user generator what exactly will help is. So the help of this particular component is we can able to. We can able to generate a script. So why we require a script first. So as I told like I want to apply the 100 users and 1000 users. 
okay when i want to apply the multiple users so those will be something called virtual users so not a physical users so physical users means so we want to call it 10 persons or 100 persons so the physical persons we call it as a physical users but this virtual user what exactly it will do is it will generate a virtual users so to generate that virtual users and we need to develop a script for that actions so whatever the flow is available for those flows and we need to develop a script and once we develop the script on the script we can able to apply the virtual users okay the multiple users we can able to apply so to generate the script to create any kind of script to that application so first initially we require a virtual user generator we also call it as a vu gen okay vu gen is the one component which will be help to help to uh, generating and editing the script okay so the, with the help of vu gen first we will develop a script and once the script is developed and we'll push this script to the controller and in the controller we'll apply a multiple users and we'll design a scenario like apply 100 users and run for one hour and verify your responses response times so it is completely automation process so we will not go into measure anything manually so the script itself we need to develop a script and once we have to apply the multiple users in the controller so obviously the multiple users will apply on that application and they will measure the response time and i will show you now how exactly we can develop the script and how exactly we can able to measure the response times okay so in the controller it is the second component so where we can push the scripts once the scripts was developed completely this scripts will be pushed to the controller in the controller will design the scenario with the multiple users and we can run the different types of test executions okay so during this execution so we required a submissions to generate the virtual users definitely to create a virtual user we required some space some of the memory should be there so that we call it as a load generator so this load generator will help us to generate the load against that application against our script and it will be apply the number of virtual users so the third component we call it as a load generator so which will help us to generate the load against that application and once we have completed the test execution and analysis is another component and which will be help us to gather the results from that test executions and it will be providing the proper analysis report so there are five components as i said so vision for the generating the script controller to design and execute the different scenarios and load generator to generate the load against that application and analysis and use it for analyzing the results and monitoring the data and there is another component which is called the agent process so agent process is something like this one the connection between the controller and load generator which we call it as a agent process so agent process it manages the connection between the controller and load generator so that is the use of the agent process so these are the five components is available so if you learn these five components and your course will be completed so most of the time we'll be spending on the view gen for the script development and later controller for the execution purpose and a later analysis for the analyzing the results purpose so these are the different components is available for us okay so now what i will do is i will open a empty script and how exactly the view gen will be looking like virtual user generator so you need to install this software in your mission and then only you can able to uh, access this particular tool so we will be we will be providing a software for this also so you can able to install in your laptop and you can start using this tool also so once the course is moving on so this is how the view gen will be looking like so it's a 2021 version so virtual user generator so i will just show you a flavor like how exactly we will be recording that application and how exactly we are measuring that application performance so i can show you now in the next five minutes i can able to show you how to record this script and how to replay the script and how to measure the response time so it takes some time so it is like almost like 2 gb or 3 gb of the software so to load this uh, tool and it will take some time and the once the course is moving on and we'll provide this software link to you so you can download in your laptop and you can able to install and you can start using and start practicing on this so whatever the whatever the concept i have explained in the class and then the same day and you could able to practice this particular concept whatever i have explained so we will be having a person will be available so in every day 
so once the class is completed and he will help you if you are facing any kind of uh, so before starting this and we need to close all the browsers okay it's not okay okay so before we are going to start any kind of recording so you need to close the browsers because it will be establishing the communication from the browser to this tool so what are the activity we will be doing on the browser so those activity will be getting recorded so i will show you now how exactly we need to record so in the future classes i am going to explain each and every option which is available in this tool so you will come to know so as a real time experience person so you should be aware all the kind of options so i am going to explain all the kind of options but for now as a demo purpose i'm just directly recording this application and i will show you how exactly this will be done so once i start recording the tool itself automatically launch that application and the communication will be recorded whatever the communication is going on the browser that communication will be recording as a script so as i told like we need to develop a script right so the tool will be automatically generate the script so you can see now once the script recording is completed and i can show you how exactly it is getting generated okay the tool was automatically launched here and here i am going to enter something like whatever the action i am going to do t01 underscore logon okay i need to do the logon so transaction which we call the page page is completed right and immediately i need to stop this transaction and again t02 underscore flights and click on flights and once the page is completed stop the transaction and next t03 underscore find flight okay and uh, after that t04 underscore choose flight so this is the application by default will be available with tool so once you install this tool and this application will be available for us to practice and stop the transaction so you can do any kind of activity here on this application t05 underscore payment payment is done so at the last you can log up the, this is the one of the scenario this we can call it as a business scenario for this so now you can see i'm logging off and i'm stopping the recording so i have recorded the steps whatever the business scenario is available in this application ticket booking so that scenario i have um, <coughs> recorded that application in the real time also same way the fund transfer adding beneficiary uh, account summary and apply for a loan apply for a credit card so such kind of scenarios will be there in the real time so you have to develop a script for such kind of business scenario and once you develop the script and you can apply with the help of the script you can apply the multiple users and you can verify the response time of that particular application so when i say the response time each page response time will be measured so when i click on the login button and that will be the login page and i will measure the response time of the particular transaction so this is how the script will be automatically generated so the script is automatically generated here so when i recorded that application the script has recorded so if you see here t01 underscore logon so logon has this many requests are going in that application okay so these are the logon requests and next is flights button so for the flights button so this is the request is going okay and find flight button and this is the request is going and choose flight button and this is the request is going so when i replay the script so what exactly will be happen is so this is this request will be executed and here start transaction and end transaction will help us to measure the response times so let me replay the script and you will come to know how exactly it is measuring the response times so i am replaying it and immediately you will come to know like how much pay how much time it is taking each page so each transaction how much time it is taking and we could able to get it with the help of this tool
so it is completely automation process we are not going to measure anything manually the script is executing now so if you go to the replay summary then you could able to see here the logon button has taken the two seconds of the response time the flights button has taken the two seconds of the response time fine flight page has taken the 631 milliseconds the choose pay, uh, flight has taken the 516 the log of has taken the one second okay so this kind of measurement will be done by this tool automatically so this is with the single user okay once this script is developed the same script will be pushed to the controller and in the controller i will apply with the 100 users 50 users or 500 users so based on the customer count in the production how many customers we have available that number will be apply on the script and will measure the response time with that many number of users on that application so this is how the view gen will be recorded the application and we can replay the script and it will be provided as the response time of the each page okay the response time has displayed here the same way this is with the single user but we have to apply with the hundreds and 500s of the users and we have to verify the response time under that pani number of user load so that is the our job as a performance tester we need to develop a script and we need to run a test and we need to analyze the results and we need to send the results to the application team so these are all the activities will be done as part of this performance testing effort okay so now you understand like what is the performance testing to know that application performance in terms of speed stability availability so we will be doing the performance testing how exactly we will be doing so with the help of any kind of available tools like load runner or jmeter we have to develop a script and we have to run with that many number of users and we have to measure the response time so this is how the application will be tested as part from the performance testing perspective any questions here and before going to that questions and i will be discussing about the course content so these are the course content so first the introduction for the performance testing i will be provided and after that how many what is the life cycle of the performance testing so performance testing life cycle i will explain and what and all the things will be available as part of performance testing and before we are going to start the performance testing what and all the things will be required all the kind of requirements gathering and preparing the test plan such kind of things will be discussed in the performance testing life cycle and after that the load runner components so the load runner components we call it as a view gen so whatever i showed you right that is called a view gen and in that once the script is recorded and there will be some concepts will be available and we need to apply those concepts like script enhancement techniques we need to apply and we need to understand the each and every option so as a real time experience if you want to show and you need to aware of the each and every option inside the tool and each and every feature which is available inside the tool and that there are different load runner functions will be there web functions will be there some scripting challenges will be there so all the things will be covered as part of this course and once the scripting is completed and we'll go for the controller the different types of test executions and how to design the scenario and how to apply that executions and how to do the different types of testing the different types of testing is nothing but so sometimes i will be apply, i will be testing for a normal load and sometimes i will be testing with for a beyond the normal load and sometimes our application will be works fine with the one hour but if the, if the same kind of application is used for the six hours same kind of load used used in the six hours in the market and how exactly it is getting responded okay so such kind of things also will be tested as part of this performance testing okay that we call it as a duration test or endurance test and we'll run a test for the six hours of the duration and we'll see how exactly the server is getting responded and how the memory is getting utilized if the same kind of application is frequently used for that much of the time okay so that also will be do and we'll show you how exactly we need to we need to design the scenario such kind of situation and later analysis so analysis part is something like what is the metrics we need to gather and what are the server side metrics we need to gather what are the results we need to prepare okay so those are the things we'll discuss and after that in the in this thing only so we regularly see web http protocol we'll practice and apart from this so we'll also cover the additional protocols which is, which is called true client protocol and web services protocol so web services also will be there in the market so that also we can be test with this particular tool and true client is something different so i will also cover this tool uh, this protocol as part of this course and after this we have something called fiddler tool is available 
So with the Fiddler tool also, it is a one of the network traffic tool. And with that also, we can able to generate the script and we could able to uh, apply the different types of uh, concepts here. And also the monitoring tools uh, will cover as part of this course, App Dynamics and the first month. So these are the additional tools also will cover as part of this course. And after this, we'll also take a mock interviews. So every weekend we'll take a mock interviews as part of this course. So once, so whatever the class is completed in the five days and the, in, on the Sunday or Saturday, we'll take the mock interviews for every person so that you will be aware of like how exactly the interview questions will be. So as we have experience, like we know like how the interviews process will be. So those kind of questions will be asked in the mock interview. So in the weekends, so we'll spend a, uh, for each person half an hour at a time and we'll ask you the questions and we'll guide you like how to, how to tell the answers for the particular question and other things. And also we'll help you to prepare the resume and we'll help you to upload in the now career monster. So how exactly you need to follow the steps and we'll also guide you for that particular uh, area. So, and also apart from this and every day, once the course is completed, once the class is completed, so you will be having a one hour or one and a half hour of the practice session. So you can also utilize that practice session and whatever the concepts I have explained as part of this course, uh, as part of the class, and you can practice in the practice session. So there will be a one faculty will be available and he will guide you. And if you are stuck at any point of the time. Okay, so this is how the course will be covered. So if you have any questions and I can take these questions. So please ask if you have any small question also no problem. So you can feel free to ask. So the course content also provided in this site. And you can see here introduction, Lorena components, performance searching life cycle. So these are the performance searching life cycle areas. And after that scripting and enhancements. So these are the things will be covered. So in depth, I, I have explained each concept here. And controller, in the controller, what and other things will be do. And in the analysis, what and other things will be do. And the different protocols which we covered as part of this course. And the miscellaneous tools, something called Fiddler, Performance Center, Virtual Table Server, Bottlenecks, and the counters will cover. And the monitoring tools will cover. Perfman, Perfman is the one thing we'll cover. And the app dynamics, the real time experience uh, you will see. Okay, so these are the course content. And you can also follow this course content during our course is moving on. And you can cover each topic as part of this course. Yeah, please let me know. And I can stop the recording and you can take the questions offline.